Hi, Jennifer Adriana here with La Media New York and Patrimonio Italiano TV. So excited here. We have Kimberly Fucci. Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ciao. Nice Ciao. to see you. I know. Finally, we have been able to link up. Um, Kimberly has been traveling and she's been having such amazing interviews and it's been such amazing exposure for her after our Nolte shows. So um, if you don't already know, we just put on our Nolte shows. It was our first ever Nolte and Web3 edition at the 69th floor of the World Trade Center. And that's where I got to meet the wonderfully, wonderful Kimberly. And um, we met briefly backstage and I was like, oh my God, I love everything. We have to talk. Absolutely. <laughs> and then um, here we are now talking. So Kimberly, tell me. Um, I love your items. Um, talk to me about the influence. We have so much in common with yes. like our Italian heritage and Tuscany. So I would love to hear just about how did you get started in the, in the field and um, what has brought you here to where you are now? Wow, um, that's, that's amazing. And thank you for obviously having me. It was an amazing experience being part of the uh, Nolta show. It was my first runway show. Um, and as an accessories designer, I decided to run it on my own. Um, highlighting um, the craftsmanship mm -hmm. and uh, the brand. Mm -hmm. So um, I actually started out in Florence, Italy mm -hmm. um, after college and uh, decided to take a little detour before law school or what I thought was going to be a law career. <clears throat> and um, Florence stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> I spent um, some time um, with small internships for Ferragamo as well as Gucci, and then I landed my first big job on the Ponte Vecchio for the Piccini family. Mm. They are the oldest family of jewelers in Florence, mm. and um, I fell in love with the art and craftsmanship mm. of uh, Gioielli. Yes. And then subsequently, over the course of the years, um, started working in other mediums. Mm -hmm which uh, is, is how the atelier came to be. So essentially the atelier is a um, luxury living and lifestyle travel brand, mm -hmm. really highlighting um, the craftsmanship that Tuscany is known for. Yes. And so one of the things that I do is that I source all of my materials um, from very small um, tanneries, um, the tanneries I use in particular are approved by the U.S. for sustainability. Love that. Um, we actually tan in small batches mm -hmm. um, and we are using organic dyes and really looking to further and explore mm -hmm. um, what can be available um, in terms of leather manufacturing. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I do is I actually handcraft in Tuscany and that. every piece that I create is not only handcrafted, but the brand is also the only um, fully customizable luxury brand on the market right wow. now. Wow. Um, it is designed in the US. Um, mm -hmm. I design it myself, but I really pride myself on utilizing Tuscan heritage mm -hmm. artisanry. Um, I'm looking to build a brand that's here to last. Wow, wow. Um, so much of what you're talking about is so close to my heart. Um, so, you know, being of Italian heritage, uh, Tuscan, you know, from my mom's side, uh, having studied at Lorenzo di Medici, um, you know, this to me, as soon as I saw it, I just knew it smelled artisanship. Yes. Um, it looked it, it smelt it, it felt it, and that's how you knew it authentically was it. Absolutely. And, um, you know, the aesthetic that you use and the colors and the richness of the colors and now explaining to me the dye process, it makes sense. Right. Because um, it, there's no, there was nothing like it um, that was on that was on um, at that event. Um, tell me a little bit about the colors that you choose. Okay. You know, you have really bold colors. I do. And really beautiful colors. And I like your mixture of colors. Um, talk to me a bit about that. You know, how has your like jewelry maybe background influenced that Very, or your fashion background? The jewelry background has quite a bit to do with what is going on in the luxury goods side of mm -hmm. things. Um, I happen to love semi-precious stones mm -hmm. and very rare and unique color. Mm -hmm. And um, Florence has always been known for creating fabulous pieces of artwork that is also wearable. So mm -hmm. um, for many, many years um, before brands were really branded, Italian brands were branded, every single piece that I designed or created 
or worked with was really a one of a kind. Right. And you, the way that we know things um, happen in Italy is really no lady wants to have um, what her friend has. Right. So it's it's always been about creating um, something that is is unique and that really defines the wearer, mm -hmm. um, whereas the wearer is not defined it by the piece. I love that. So Kimberly Pucci is very much known for um, quiet luxury. Mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of wiggling our way through the world um, in a very bold way, but not necessarily by a label. It's mm -hmm. not a label-driven brand. It right. is a brand that, again, the foundation and the roots are on Italian craftsmanship, and, mm -hmm. and again, every piece that I create mm -hmm. is stamped on the inside, handmade in Tuscany. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, because as we know over the course of the years, um, the Made in Italy, which is coming back, has unfortunately lost its luster yes. a little bit. And I believe in being very forthright and mm -hmm. transparent in everything that I do. And so creating a brand that states and is obliged to mm -hmm. continue to create and craft in Tuscany is something that's very important. Right. The colors are um, fabulous. Um, I actually love color and I'm very much influenced by travel, okay. um, which is why the brand is about how we're living, how we're traveling, how we're moving through the world. Orange is my signature color. Yes. And I do own a beautiful home in the countryside in Tuscany. And the orange is the sunset that happens in August, that happens in November. Um, there are times of day where you are just absolutely marveled by the Tuscan sunset. Mm -hmm. The um, ability to not only craft in Tuscany, but actually to move beyond what is a very, uh, you know, traditional uh, item, like an accessory, like a bag, and mm -hmm. actually create texture through weaving mm -hmm. is very much how we were creating jewelry um, back in the day and for centuries, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. in Tuscany, where we're, we're hand etching gold with raw silk mm -hmm. and um, utilizing very unique finishes. Yes. And that's really where a lot of the weaving is taking place. Yes. Um, I work with uh, artisans that have been weaving and have learned the art and craftsmanship of weaving um, from their fathers and their grandfathers. Right, right. And so uh, I think it's always unique to create a very unexpected piece um, that is a showstopper. We have a world that's full of black and taupe mm -hmm. and navy bags. And mm -hmm. so I, I feel putting my mark on, on the world with color is the way to go. Yeah. And you know, um, I love color myself too. So that's another thing we have in common. Yes. Um, color for me, you know, loving psychology, it just, it evokes so much of our emotion. Absolutely. And it has so much to do with, you know, how we feel and, and there's something about that bright orange. It's like waking up in the morning, the it way is. that you said, that's very symbolic to a new day, a new you. And that sort of brings me to, you know, I can't imagine what it was like seeing Serena Williams having one of your items yes. that she had throughout her tennis matches on her arm. I mean, what was that moment for you? Doing something that you love that is so ingrained in your heart and that passion and that soul, right. which as we know, what our, us Italians are known for, you know, Absolutely. we're passionate people. So now being able to bring that out into the world and seeing that other people that are so disciplined and amazing in their craft, loving what you do. Talk to me about that. So um, I was able to meet Serena in the Hamptons mm -hmm. um, at a very special event that I um, sponsored. And I thought it was just absolutely amazing to be able to meet her and, and have the ability to show her what I do. She's passionate about women, women in business, entrepreneurs. Right. She's the mom of, of a lovely little girl, mm -hmm. um, which is one of the reasons I believe why she's retired, yes. um, but not retired from business, retired mm -hmm. from, from the tennis world. And so very unexpectedly, I like to say that I 
craft and create for myself. And if you love what I do and if you love my lifestyle, then you're going to love my brand. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to have someone who is truly in the spotlight mm -hmm. highlight Kimberly Pucci on the world stage, for me, it was more than I could have ever hoped for. What happened uh, essentially was I was with um, my son, Nicolo, um, and the bag that Serena actually carried onto the US Open yes. when she met Nadal is called the Nicolo. Mm -hmm. And I was having lunch with Nicolo and my nephew, Lorenzo, who is also from Florence. Mm -hmm. And Lorenzo happens to be a tennis player. Wow. <laughs> and he was on, it was the opening day of the US Open and we were at lunch and Lorenzo was on the US Open app and at the same time, a client of mine who is an avid, 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 excuse me, tennis player, sent me a text message. And she said, is Serena wearing your bag? And I thought, well, she does half my bag, but why would she be wearing it at the, where, where is she? <laughs> and in that particular moment, Lorenzo said, Zia, I visto. <laughs> and that's how it all happened. So it was really one of, those moments where then Nicolo grabbed the phone and he said, Fammi vedere, Fammi vedere, let me see, let me see. And it really made for a great lunch oh, conversation. So, well, we were on our phones the, the rest of the time. <laughs> it makes for such a conversation when we talk about manifestation and being in alignment with ourselves. Right. right? And that's such a beautiful story that I think that I'll always keep with me and share with others. Right. Because it really, to, it really truly is a testament to when you do something from the heart, the way that people could see that through your eyes, through the spark of what you're doing, um, so it just true. becomes kismet. It becomes just, it, yes. it just all becomes in sync. Um, so I just wanted to finish up by, you know, please show us a little bit about these beautiful weavings and these Absolutely. colors. So um, um, what we're looking at right here um, are some samples of new weaves that have uh, that I recently launched mm -hmm. and the the brand is moving in a number of different directions mm -hmm. right now I have um, in the last year been designing all of the soft goods for Pershing super yachts and Pershings are crafted again in Ancona in Italy and I have been able through color and weaving and texture create um, really fabulous tabletop bags Mm -hmm. um, a bedding line for Pershing for all of the boats that hit the U.S. It's beautiful. Then through texture and weaving, I am now working with the design industry. Mm -hmm. So we can hand weave um, for um, furniture brands, for um, interior decorators, architects that are working mm -hmm. on special feature walls, tabletop, uh, furniture, you know, all different things as well as um, I have a um, new collaboration going on with a German car company. Oh, that's wonderful. And, Congratulations. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, undisclosed, but of course. Um, it will be very, very interesting to see. They're not only going to be utilizing the weaves, but we're creating branded luxury for their clientele. That's beautiful. And um, it is, it's really special. Congratulations um, on that. Thank you very much. What you have here too, is we all know how passionate we are about the kitchen in Italy. <laughs> and I still love to set a table. Uh, yes. So yes. we, we set, uh, set the table in my home. And so I thought it was only natural to introduce beautiful tabletop that actually can be branded or can really finish off a space. Oh yes. And of course that too is um, handcrafted in Tuscany mm -hmm. in leather. And currently the, the entire line is very much open to working with other like-minded partners. I love that. And so with, with, with ease, we can create bespoke luxury for other luxury brands. Mm -hmm. um, and that may be hotel, private aviation, um, yachting. Mm -hmm and automobiles yeah and you know what wherever the world takes you right yes wherever the world takes you wherever the world takes you Kimberly so, it was such a pleasure thank you very much such a pleasure thanks for um, having me I I really um, enjoy to learn about all of your beautiful 
colors and brands and really the heart of your company. Thank you. I can't wait to see the rest of what the future brings for you. Um, I think we need innovative people like you in this place, in this space. Um, now talking metaverse, NFTs, this is where it's at. Yes. And um, you know, you're just gonna continue to flourish and be at the forefront. Um, so, you know, best of luck to you. Thank and you. I can't wait to, to see more from you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And in that, we're gonna have a little bit of espresso. Yes, please. <laughs> and do a little ching ching. So to the future of Kimberly Pucci, I'm here, Jennifer Adriana with La Media New York and Patrimonio Tirano TV. Kimberly. Chin. Salute. Salute. <laughs>